Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today we're back in Atlantic City on the Atlantic City Boardwalk. We're walking right past the beer garden here on the southern end of the boardwalk. We're going to head north up to Bally's and check out Harry's Oyster Bar. I've been trying to do a lunch with you guys at Chickie and Pete's at the Tropicana, but for some reason their outdoor dining has been closed the uh, last couple of times I've been here. And I like to do the food stuff outdoors because my camera is very bad in restaurant dark lighting. So uh, we're going to head to Harry's this time. Maybe Chickie and Pete's will be open uh, next time I visit. Uh, Harry's, again, is located at Bally's. They have indoor and outdoor dining. It's a very nice oyster bar. We're going to check it out right now. Just so you guys know, it is extremely hot out. It's in the 90s and almost 100% humidity. It is uncomfortable here on the boardwalk today, uh, which is why you don't see too many people. The, the casinos are packed, but you don't see too many people on the boardwalk. And as you'll see, there's plenty of trams on the boardwalk today, and they're packed as well. People just don't want to be walking. And I can tell you guys from experience, 100 degrees in Las Vegas is nowhere near as uncomfortable as 100 humid degrees here in Atlantic City. If you look right above the doors, that first black level of glass, that's uh, Nero's Steakhouse, and you can see people dining in there. One of you had asked about Morton's Steakhouse here at Caesars. That is also open. I did visit Caesars after uh, my lunch at Harry's today. That's going to be a separate video, but everything is pretty much open except the Caesars Buffet, which is now kind of like a makeshift pizzeria. The only buffet that I know that Caesars has opened is the one at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. All their other buffets are closed right now unless you know of one that's open leave a comment below um, they're totally rethinking their whole buffet thing they feel that they it's way too much overhead too much staffing requirements I think Caesars is trying to get out of the buffet business not really sure that's just word of mouth that's not something that I heard from Caesars officially but uh, they're certainly slow in opening up their buffets again whereas MGM has most of their buffets open <laughs> And here we are in front of Bally's. As you can see, the beach bar was in full swing. And we're uh, heading over to Harry's now, the oyster bar here. I'm going to show you the outside. And then we're going to head into Harry's through the casino. But we'll eventually end up outside again for our lunch. This little alcove we're heading into is a nice place to uh, take a breather if you're walking along the Atlantic City Boardwalk. Uh, during the weekends, they have some live music usually here outside. Uh, there's an outdoor bar here at Harry's, and you don't have to eat here to take advantage of the bar and the seating and the live music. Um, as long, I guess, as you have a drink in your hand, they're, they're cool with that. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot, and other times she can be quite a elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And a shout out to Gokul1202, also known as Pablo and his wife Gita. They found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in my latest Las Vegas video at the Luxor Hotel and Casino. Congratulations guys. And now we'll head into Harry's via the uh, Hotel Casino here. And lots going on at Bally's. As most of you know, they were recently, recently purchased from uh, Caesars. And there's a lot of changes going on here, including a brand new sports book, which we'll take a quick look at. While I was here, I did do a thorough walkthrough of this hotel and casino. That video is coming out soon. It's not going to be part of this video. This video is all about Harry's. But as long as we're walking through the casino, why not take some video, or try to at least, if security stays out of my hair? Or what little hair I have. <laughs>
Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Now, if we follow this little connector hallway uh, that's right off the casino floor here at Bally's, it eventually brings you to Bally's new rewards area, as well as Harry's. There's stairs that go down to Harry's Oyster Bar, which we're going to take shortly. But if you continue to go straight, it'll take you eventually to the Wild Wild West. And if you go through the Wild Wild West, that'll eventually take you to Caesars. No need to go outside. And on a day like today, that's hot and humid. These little hallways are a godsend. And here's Harry's menu. It's kind of extensive and small to read if you want to pause the video. I still don't think you'll be able to read it, but I'll leave a link below in the description if you're interested in checking out their menu. But let's head on downstairs and see what it's all about. Speaking of the menu, you can order individually uh, the oysters here at Harry's. You don't have to order like a bucket full or, or a plate full. Uh, and they're approximately $2.50 each. They come from all over the place. You get to pick which type of oysters you want. Uh, it could be a Cape Cod oyster. It could be a Chesapeake Bay oyster or a very local Cape May oyster here in New Jersey. They have the Delaware Bay oysters, Long Island oysters, uh, Great Bay oysters, James River, all different places. You could try one of each if you want. And again, they're mostly about $2.50 each. This mural outside of Harry's has a couple of famous faces. Can you spot them? Leave a comment below. Now, I'm not an oyster person, and some of you may be thinking, Hey, Jeff from New York, what are you doing in Harry's Oyster Bar if you don't eat oysters? Truth is, I love crab, and they have everything here at Harry's Oyster Bar, not just seafood, but I do like crab, and I'm interested in either crab legs for lunch or perhaps a crab cake sandwich. I'll determine that once I get outside and look at the menu. Here we have a quick look at the inside of Harry's Oyster Bar, and again, I will be eating outside because my camera doesn't like dark places, and even though it's not that dark in here, I know the photography would come out horrible. So, this is a quick look at the inside, we're going to check out the outside. I've been in the market for a small camera that does well with uh, low lighting conditions. Very hard to find. Uh, usually the low lighting uh, cameras seem to be much larger. Obviously they need a larger lens. So. I'm still in the market. Eventually, hopefully, I'll find one someday. If you know of any, leave a comment below and I'll check into it. But uh, my search continues, people. And I got a nice table outside. All the tables outside are under umbrellas, which is a really good idea on a day like today. Uh, you can see they have lots of fancy drinks here, and I was in the mood to try one. They're about 12 bucks each, but uh, on a day like today, I'm trying to stay away from the alcohol, at least until I get home. So uh, I'm going to order a uh, unsweetened iced tea, which is my good old standby when I'm not drinking. And I decided on a crab cake sandwich with a side of fries, some uh, spicy roumelade sauce to go on top, as well as some coleslaw. And I have to say, even though it's very humid and in the 90s here, it seems to be comfortable here at Harry's outside, especially under these umbrellas here. So I'm glad I made the choice to sit outside today. The beach bar is right on the other side of that boardwalk, and uh, they have a live band there, and they're pretty good. So uh, we're getting the music from there as well. And here we are, my crab cake sandwich with a side of fries, a spicy roumelade sauce, and some coleslaw, and some crab cake toppings for the sandwich, as well as my unsweetened iced tea. While the crab cake was fresh, it was rather small and uh, coated in a hard breading. And uh, it wasn't jumbo lump crab, it was more of a crab cake mash. It was also kind of bland, so I needed some uh, salt and Tabasco sauce to spice things up a bit. Quite honestly, I expected more for $18. The fries were seasoned nicely and crispy on the outside and nice and soft on the inside the way I liked them. The roumelade sauce was spicy as well. It did spice up that crab cake a little bit, but like I said, it needed a little more help from the uh, Tabasco sauce. And the toppings were very fresh. Uh, everything about the meal was very fresh. Just a little bland on that crab cake. And uh, I don't eat coleslaw, so that's that. Like I said, the sandwich platter was $18. My uh, unsweetened iced tea was three for a total of $22.39 without a tip. Not bad. Uh, like I said, everything was fresh. It just needed a little more seasoning. The atmosphere is inviting both indoors and outdoors. And uh, even though it was very hot, I was cool out here this afternoon. Would I come back again to Harry's Oyster House? Definitely yes. Uh, I probably wouldn't order the crab cake sandwich again, but uh, I would definitely come back and order something different, try it out. Uh, it's definitely a great oasis away from the hustle and bustle and the heat from the uh, boardwalk.
So what do you think of Harry's Oyster Bar here at Bally's? Would you uh, come here based on my observations, or have you been here before? Leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.